Welcome to another Curriculum Burst. This is a great problem from the Grade 12 competitions that's suitable for an algebra unit on quadratics. Here goes, here it is. Let f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, c are integers. And suppose that f of 1 is 0, oh dear, that gets crazy, and 50, uh, so was it f of 7 is between 50 and 60, I guess that's how I read that, and f of 8 is between 70 and 80, and f of 100 is between 5000k and 5000 times k plus 1 for some integer k. Oh goodness. And the question is, what's k? Alright, the first step to any problem solving process is read the question and have an emotional reaction. And to this question I have an emotional reaction, whoa, that seems like a lot. Okay, but what problem strategy can I, can I employ here? Well, I guess the strategy I'm going to do is just strategy number two, do something. We've got a quadratic, f of x equals ax squared, let me write on the board, f of x is ax squared plus bx plus c. That looks familiar from an algebra class, so I feel like I'm in some familiar territory, even though I have no idea what I'm doing next. But I'm just going to do something. What can I do? The question does say f of 1 is 0. Well, I feel like that's manageable. f of 1 is 0 is telling me that a times 1 squared plus b times 1 plus c must be 0. Well, so there's an equation, a plus b is 0. These three numbers add up to zilch. For example, I could say that c is, I don't know, negative a minus b, or b is negative a minus negative c, whatever. I could play with this equation. That's something. And then I get the scary stuff. f of 7 is between 50 and 60. Well, I don't know what to do, but let me just work out what f of 7 is. Plug in x equals 7, I get, uh, what, 49a plus 7b plus c. Okay. And apparently that's a number in the 50s. I don't know what to do. Well, if I know what to do, I'll just do something else. Look at f of 8. All right, f of 8. Plug that in. Uh, x is 8, so it'd be 64a plus uh, 8b plus c. And apparently, according to the question, that's a number in the 70s. I still have no idea what I'm doing. But at least I'm doing something. All right, so let's look at this. This is a number in the 50s. Apparently, this is a number in the 70s. And I've got this piece of information. Actually, let's, let's look at this. c is negative a minus b. Let's just shove into one of these, so I can read this one and do it right here. So c is negative a, negative b, so that's telling me f of 8 is actually 64a's plus 8b's minus a minus b. That's 63a's and 7b's. Still don't know where I'm going, I'm just doing something. But actually, this is meant to be a number in the 70s, and 63 and 7, I can see this is 7 times 9a plus b. That is, f of 8 is a multiple 7 in the 70s. F of 8 must be 77. This is brilliant. I now have a piece of information. I know what F of 8 is. It's 77. I bet, knowing that F of 7 is in the 50s and has to be a multiple of something else, I can work out what F of 7 is. And then maybe this is feeling good. One equation, another equation, and hopefully a third equation. I will pop up what the system of equations I can solve and actually work out what A, B, and C are. I feel like I'm hoping. At least I'm doing something. Give it a try. See where it goes. And then see if it makes sense the final part, f of 100, being between some multiples of 5,000. Maybe the question will fall into place after all. Give it a try and have fun with it. Thanks. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.